Hey guys, welcome to Shoot Guru Tech Talks and today I'm talking about a very very special device that has changed the way I go live on different platforms. This is the YOLO box. It is a multi-camera live broadcast system and it also acts as a live cam switcher. So basically this device allows me to go live on multiple platforms at the same time. With the new upgrades and updates, this device is actually allowing me to now go live on Zoom sessions also. I have a multicam setup with three on-location cameras and multiple off-location cameras as well, which I'm going to be talking about in videos to come. But in this video today, I'm going to be talking about how do you actually set up this device and what are the different settings that you need to be careful about. So to begin with, this is the first screen that you come on to. Here you have two options, sign in to go live. Basically you have to sign up with YOLO box, connect all your social media accounts. Don't worry, it is very safe. Then actually what you can do is go live on multiple platforms using this device. The second option here is monitor mode, which actually is fairly straightforward. Connect your three camera inputs. The three cameras will pop up over here. And of course you can switch between these cameras. This is like an offline switcher but let's dive in how you actually set up when you begin click on this icon over here now you're in the main settings here you have different different social media platforms like Facebook YouTube Twitch and some RTMP servers as well of course you have your account about this device the language any recordings you can actually have an SD card and have recordings FAQs if you get stuck somewhere, screen rotation if you are actually flipping the screen or even using it in a portrait mode. Then version to update your software, network settings, time zone which you're in, system update, restore back to factory settings and diagnostic logs. So if you're facing any kind of trouble, you can actually log diagnostics, send it back to the company and they will help you wherever they can. Now, the first thing is we need to set up our network. Here we have multiple options again. We have Wi-Fi, we have Ethernet and we have SIM card option as well. And the most amazing thing, this has network bonding. I have another video coming up on network bonding as well, which will take you guys through of what the process of network bonding is all about. But let's set up our Wi-Fi first. Here you can see that my Wi-Fi is already connected. It is very, very easy. You actually just turn on the Wi-Fi on the device. It automatically detects the Wi-Fi in your network zone and you can actually connect to a Wi-Fi that has 5G connection. You get amazing speeds. But my preferred go-to is always either Ethernet or a SIM card inbuilt if I'm in an outdoor situation. But looking at the network situation in India, I can't really depend on one network. Hence, I use network bonding. So once you're connected to a Wi-Fi, click on sign in to go live. Here now you have an option if you already signed up, but I'm going to create an account with you guys. Let's put our email over here. I'm going to create a password. Once I've entered an email and the password, now I press sign up. It says it has been registered. So now let's log in. So once you've logged in, you will enter your profile. Here you have multiple options. The first is standard events where you can actually create an event. I will do that in a while. And the second is the YOLO cast events. This is a beta section in which you can create special events using the YOLO cast and then stream them using this box. The YOLOcast events actually gives you much more advanced streaming features which allow you to up your live streaming game. So if you're streaming for yourself, you're a YouTuber or a streamer or if you're streaming for your clients, this feature could actually upgrade the way you actually have been live streaming till now. In standard events now, let's add an event. I press the plus sign. So we have an option again of creating a live stream or switching to a monitor mode. To get a better feel of what we are doing, I'm going to connect a few cameras onto this and see how that really works. So basically, I've taken inputs of the two cameras on this setup. One is my master camera and the second camera is the top down camera. Now, if you look at the interface here, you have three HDMI ins. You then have a USB in where you can attach a pen drive or any flash drive. Then you have an Ethernet port. 
along with the ethernet port you have a type c port now this is what is interesting when i connect a laptop using this port i can actually read this as a video interface and use multiple softwares on my laptop and take the feed from here then you have an hdmi out where you can actually give an output of whatever you're mixing over here and then you have a headphone to monitor sound and of course two mic inputs where you can have two separate mics coming in and those can also be controlled separately let's see the options that we have so we have the create live stream option and of course the monitor mode let's check out the monitor mode in the monitor mode it is very very interesting how this device now turns into a multi cam live setup you have my main screen over here which is the output that i'm creating i have the multiple camera inputs over here like the hdmi 1 the hdmi 2 i can have the hdmi 3 as well i can actually add more video source devices other than the three HDMI's, I have USB source, a local video through HD card 1 and HD card 2. I can actually add another live stream. Yes, if there is another live stream that you want to put into your own live stream, you can add that as well. You can add PDF documents if you are doing a presentation and of course, finally, images, any kind of images work. So there is a plethora of sources that can be added with this device. Now, going back to this screen, here you have multiple things over here. Then you have multiple overlays. I can come here, I can add image overlays, lower thirds, countdown timer, web URL overlays, titles, and of course, social overlays. Since you're doing an offline monitor mode, there will be some options that are turned off, but you can always manage sound. You can actually manage sound individually from different HDMI's, and of course you can add mics as well. If you're somebody who's doing a multicam setup for a tournament or scoring, you have a digital scoreboard as well. You can always update that. You can switch between videos. You can do an auto switch option, which is amazing. Let's say you're getting bored. It's the same thing again and again. You can always, you know, program this to switch automatically. Now in the setting options, we have video source switching mode, local video switching settings, local video playback mode and SD card management. So you can actually set from single click to switch or double click to switch. You can do continuous playback. You can have resume from the first frame or pause when you are switching between cameras. This is very, very interesting. Let's say, for example, I'm giving a demo uh, in a live session about a film that I made. I can always pause it wherever I want, wherever cameras are switching and kind of that, you know, gives me an opportunity to switch back wherever I want. In card management, if there are SD cards installed, you can format them over here or manage the content in that. Now, using the program out, if I click this, that means when I have the HDMI out selected, I can switch between cameras without this interface really showing out on the HDMI. But if I have this turned off, it will give me a whole setup out onto a bigger screen. Now this is very, very interesting because then I can use this only as a switcher and look at my interface on a bigger screen. Now then you have the USB-C out. In the USB-C out, you can see you can have a default out or a flip horizontal in which you can have a mirrored image. You can turn that on. Now when you turn that on, you have to add up to three HDMI sources for best experience when directly outputting onto a computer because then you can use three cameras and switch between all of them or you can even use SD cards as well. I'm gonna turn it off. We have video source transitions. You can actually select the kind of transition that this device does when you're switching between video sources, which is cut, fade, wipe, direction wipe transition, uh, window slide, simple zoom, cross zoom, squeeze, a flip page and cube. So there are a lot of options available. Then you can go into the encoder settings. Now this is a little bit more advanced if you're somebody who really wants to tweak everything that you do because depending on the kind of uh, internet speeds you're in or the kind of content that you're publishing, you can actually select these as well. Then you have recording limits. Um, your SD card recording can be set onto limits. Maybe you don't want to record the whole, you know, the event or something and you can uh, select how much of it do you actually want. Go to storage settings. You have USB storage, which is the USB over there. And of course, the SD card. Um, you can always format them and manage between storages as well. 
and finally replay settings yes you have a replay option so if you're shooting sports or if you're shooting something which needs that kind of a replay you can set these up there are a lot of options over here as well uh, the amount of speed that you want the playback speed that you want it could be a slow-mo playback and stuff like that and of course you can use it as an overlay as well so you see in the monitor mode there are a plethora of settings available to you now let's check out the live stream mode So for the live stream, what I'm going to select is create a live stream. Now, here it is important that you give it a title. Let's give it a title called Shoot Guru. Let's press done. Description is optional. Let's say live demo. Done. And of course, date. Um, let's do it for tomorrow. Okay, time. 5 p.m. is fine, 5 a.m. still works. So now what it basically does, it has created this event which is scheduled. I can share this link, you know, it creates a, a separate server link as well with friends and family if they want to view it. Let's click on this live. Now, like the monitor mode, here we have literally everything that is very, very similar. I have all the options uh, of overlays, then sound, scoreboard, camera switching and the same kind of settings now but something which has now added to the settings over here is this now i can actually get into network bonding if i have multiple networks attached like the ethernet the sim card and the wi-fi i can bond them together to give me higher speeds then i have the different platforms that i can go on to so we have youtube facebook twitch and custom rtmps I can link my YouTube account, my Facebook account, my Twitch account and also have a separate RTMP link for any private server where I could be streaming. I can invite guests. Now this is something which is very very cool. If I press on invite guests, I can create guest lists using emails, send an invite. Uh, this invite to, goes to those people, they can view the stream, they can come on as, you know, if they have a webcam attached or if, even if they're using a phone, they can come as a, another camera and there are multiple number of people I can add to a particular stream. Now, here again, I can have mute guests and allow participants. So it's like, you know, those Zoom meetings where you can manage your guests as well. It is everything like that. Also, the additional video sources will be added over here. Those guests that use the link to login can be added as additional sources. Yes, it could be a multi, multi, multi cam live setup. You could have a large conference happening with guests sitting around the world and which is incredible. Then you have comments. If you are going live using inviting guests, people can put in comments. It also takes comments from YouTube, Facebook, anywhere you're going live. So all those comments can come here. But yes, of course, there is a little bit of lag. So you replying those comments could take time. Don't worry about it. People don't mind those kind of lags when you are in a live session uh, over the internet. So just be careful that you don't miss out anybody. So overall, the all the other interface is quite similar. I believe that this device is a standalone system it has a battery pack i like you can see i can i'm running it on a battery right now a good power backup um since it has a sim card option i can actually go live from anywhere i can actually go outdoors and go live as well um i have studio setups i do multi-cam lives i do uh live sessions for my clients i don't need to you know hire bigger setups anymore this device right here does everything so now you know what all it has to offer and how you can actually sync everything together and set it up before using do try it out and do check it out this is yolo box so until next time ciao